lesson, we're going to learn how to make an app with more than one activity. We'll also learn how to make certain elements in an activity invisible. Let's make a simple app that opens up a new activity when the user presses a button. Once you understand it, you can add this functionality to your other apps. Set up a new Android project with two blank activities, each one with an XML and Java file. The first activity will be the default one that is shown when the app opens up. Open up the layout file for your first activity and add a button, taking note of its ID. You want to add a property to this button, which links it to a method when it's pressed. Since the button just opens up to the second activity, let's call this method next activity. You can link the button to the next activity method by adding this property to it. Next, open up the Java file for your first activity. Make a new method there called this. Inside this method, we're going to add something called an intent, which lets us load up a new activity. Here's how. Make sure you replace the second activity name with the name of the Java file for your second activity. Then, on a new line, add... Now when you load up your app and press this button, you should be taken to your second activity, which will be blank until you add stuff to it. You can use multiple activities to improve your conversion app. For instance, you can have extra activities with more types of conversions users can do distances, times, weights, etc. That's it for this lesson. 